It's just an ordinary day today. Plain old water in a plain old glass. Hey, it's Tuesday, June 18th, and I have four cards to share with you today. Yesterday I made a tutorial using the uh, Dynamics Blueprints number one set. And for those of you who are not familiar, these are monthly sets that Dynamics uh, release every month. Monthly every month. Duh. Um, and I think they're on their fourth one and these sets were specifically designed to create A2 cards which is really cool because in one set you get all of the elements to create cards. What's even cooler is that for each of the kits or each of the sets they've come up with four different ideas and there's like a document that you can find online um, and you print them out and these are four card ideas uh, specifically for that die set which is really cool so I had a lot of fun to put together four different cards I did four cards because I wanted to show that um, you can do different styles of cards depending on what paper you use or what stamp set you use and what layout you actually use and here are the cards here's the die set that I was mentioning um, in the intro so this is the blueprints number one die set and as you can see all the elements uh, would fit on an A2 size card. They even have one that will cut a perfect mat uh, for an A2 size card. There's a faux ribbon here, uh, two rectangles, one is a mat, and uh, well a small and, and a medium size one so I guess you can use this as a mat, that's what I did. And there's a rectangle, a scalloped rectangle a button, a circle, and three tags. Really cool. Um, I don't have the other three with me, but I know there are as equally interesting. The card that I made uh, during the tutorial is this one here. And for this one, I also used a die set and a stamp, whoops, a die set and a stamp set that coordinate. This is called the Blue Skies um, set by Lawn Fawn. So what I did is I used this large rectangle to create that mat and I punched out a piece of pattern paper. This is by Bella Boulevard. And the hard air balloons I stamped on the reverse side of that paper. And look how cool that is. It just creates a pattern on the hot air balloon. Really fun. And because, you know, I've got coordinating dies, it cut down on time dramatically. Um, here's the faux ribbon cut out of white cardstock. Let me zoom in because it really looks like a stitched ribbon. I love that. And the sentiment is also from that stamp set. And this is the rectangle, the scalloped rectangle that I cut up just so I could add it at the bottom and then I added two little tags. Now this is the sheet I was talking about also in my intro, these are the sketches that are suggested uh, by My Favorite Things and I used this sketch but without that part here because it would have been too much and since I had so many circle accents on the card that would have been overkill so I kept the rest but I, I didn't use that. So that was card uh, number one. My second card is this one. I did a masculine card. So as you can see, I also used this, uh, the large rectangle and the two smaller rectangles to create the mats. And I used another stamp and die cut combo from My Favorite Things. And this one is called Documented Rock On. And this one, I believe, yeah, Accented Rock and Roll. Yeah, rock and roll. So I used from that stamp, um, actually from that stamp set, I only use one stamp, the uh, sentiment here, I pick you, but it fits perfectly inside the uh, pick die right here. I also used the guitar and the overlay to create the guitar here. And luckily enough, I had a paper that had this pattern on it and the guy was holding a guitar. So I used this, this as my inspiration to place my guitar right there. So he looks as if he's playing the guitar, but not. And this star here is obviously this one, but what's cool about it is that it also cuts the middle. So you can, you have another piece to use a, in a later project. And I only, the, my 
the last accent that I added is some silver liquid pearls on the star. Let me give you a close up. Oh, and I also did the uh, the buttons right here. I don't do a lot of masculine cards, so I thought this was cool. This is a great set to have for teenagers or whoever's involved in music. My son's a musician, so I really like this set. I might purchase it. So that is the second card I made. Then I did a cutie pie card. So I used another stamp set by My Favorite Things. And this one is called, uh, yeah, Cupcake Cutie. And for this one, I used, again, I used all, pretty much all of the elements here. And this was the sketch that I was inspired by. And I just took pattern paper. I created all my components with the dies. And this is what I came up with. I love that button. How cute is that? And I was able to take one of the tags. The holes already poked through, so I just tied it with a piece of twine and I colored her with my Copics really quickly. I didn't do too much shadowing. And then the last one, I wanted to do something more vintagey looking. And I used the Miss Empire Kaiser Craft Clear stamp set, as well as a piece of their pattern paper on the it's too bad because on the pattern paper, there's some beautiful, not dress forms, but like corsets? Yeah, corsets, I guess. These are it. That's the reverse side. And I used the reverse side for the button. So I kept this really simple. Again, I used most of the, uh, the dies here. Makes life much easier. This is the faux ribbon. I used two different sizes of the tags. And actually, this is a total um, cased layout from this really simple very quick to do I kind of colored her lips but it's hard to see so four cards different looks using the blueprints number one die set so that's all I have to share with you today I hope you had a good weekend today is really sunny outside so I'll take advantage of that I have quite a few errands to run stuff to return and um, hopefully I'll have time to catalog some stamps. Um, as you know, this is my ongoing project. Uh, there's a few people that have requested that I do a tour of my studio. Uh, that might have to wait a little while. I need to purge. Um, I really, really need to purge. I mean, I've been at this for probably a, a good, well, more than 10 years now. It's been like 12 or 13 years that I've been in this um, you know scrapbooking and paper crafting so I have accumulated a lot of stuff anyways I'm chatting for way too long now I hope that uh, you've enjoyed looking at the four cards that I made as usual thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them below and I will see you later bye